Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. For all you curious learners out there, we are going to look at polynomials and talk about the degrees of those polynomials today. The degree of a polynomial is essentially the sum of the exponents in that monomial. Um, that's it. That's seriously pretty much it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at exponents and we're going to add them together. That's what we're going to be doing today. Now, this might sound simple when I write it in a couple of words, or it might sound complicated. Either way, showing some examples is the best way to understand fully what I mean when I talk about the sum of the exponents. So let's look at some examples. Here is a table with monomials on the left and the degrees on the right. This monomial has the value of 3x squared. You are looking at the exponent, 2. So the exponent is 2. That's the degree of this monomial. Let's look at another one, 2y to the power of 5. What is the degree? Did you say 5? The exponent value is the degree. Now, there's a little bit of a trick question here. What if I have just a number, 7? Uh-oh. I'm going to refer back to my previous lesson. I did a lesson on the basics of polynomials, and I mentioned it in, this, in that lesson. If you have a number by itself, it's kind of like it has, maybe it has a variable, but if it, the variable was there, it would have the exponent of 0. All right. So if you have just a number by itself, that means that the variable has kind of disappeared because it has an exponent of 0 and anything to the power of 0 is 1, so it would be like 7 times 1, and we would just write it as 7. So our monomial of 7 has a degree of 0. Now, this last monomial, negative 9ab, has two things that I want to show you in it. First of all, it has a variable of a, and it has a variable of b, and neither of them have an exponent. So the first thing we need to know is that if you have a variable written down and it has no exponent, the exponent is 1. So it's a to the power of 1 and b to the power of 1. The second thing I want to tell you about this one is that a to the power of 1 and b to the power of 1, you add them together. If you remember, the definition of the degree is the sum of the exponents. So if there's more than one variable, you have to add up the exponents. This is a degree of 2. 1a and 1b. That's the degree of this monomial. All right, so your job now. What is the degree of this monomial? Take a look at it. What's the degree of that monomial? Was I able to fool you? Did you recognize that this is not a monomial at all? That was just a trick question, just to see if you were paying attention. If you have a variable in the denominator, it is not a monomial at all. So that was just a trick question. I have an actual question for you. Don't worry. Here you go. What's the degree of this monomial? Take a look at that and tell me what is the degree of that monomial. Good job if you answered that the degree was 1. It is a degree of 1 because it's a to the power of 1. It's not written in there. That means that it's a 1. What happens when you have multiple variables and you add up the exponents and it looks kind of like this? Let's try another practice question. So I'm going to set up another question for you. I'm, I want you to solve this one. Tell me what is the degree of this kind of complicated looking monomial. Were you able to say 6? Did you recognize that A had a degree of 1, B had a degree of 2, and C had the degree of 3? In other words, the exponents. A had an exponent of 1, B had an exponent of 2, and C had an exponent of 3. You add them together and you get 6. The degree of that exponent or the degree of that monomial is 6 when we add up the exponents. All right, so here are some other examples of monomials that have 
more than one part. Here we go, 3AB squared. What's the degree of this monomial? It's 3, 1A and 2Bs. How about this one, 2X to the power of 3, Y to the power of 5? Were you able to get 8 for that one? How about negative 13? There's a number again. What's the, the degree of a number? Zero. And our last one, x squared, y squared, z. We'll have to add those up. 2 plus 2 plus 1 gives me 5. That's the degree of the monomials that are listed on the left. So in each case, what you're doing is adding up the exponents. Now it's time for you to try one out. Here's the question. I'll put this um, question in there for you. Go ahead and look at how to solve that question. Welcome back. Were you able to know that it's the exponent of 3 plus 1 plus 1? The exponent of the s is 1. The exponent of t is 1. 3 plus 1 plus 1 is 5. So the degree of this monomial is 5. Notice that that first number really doesn't matter. The 13, 13 doesn't matter. Um, you can have positive, negative numbers. You can have fractions, decimals. It doesn't really matter what the number is in front. We are looking only at the exponents when we're talking about the degree of the monomial. Now let's change gears just a little bit. If we fully understand the degree of a monomial, then this part, the degree of a polynomial, is actually made a lot easier. The degree of a polynomial is the highest degree of the monomial inside of the polynomial. In this example, we're going to find the degree of the polynomial. To do that, you need to find the degree for each monomial inside of that polynomial. So let's do it. The first term, 15x squared y squared, has a degree of 4. I just add the exponents. 2 plus 2 is 4. The second term, 2x squared, has a degree of 2. Just the exponent, x to the power of 2, is 2. In our third term, I have 4xy. With that one, I'm going to have to know that x, y, when they're listed by themselves, it's like x to the power of 1, y to the power of 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And my final term, negative 3, has a degree of 0. So when you're trying to find the degree of a polynomial, you look at all of the terms. And you say the highest degree that is the degree of the polynomial. You don't add them together. This polynomial has a degree of 4. So as you can see here, the highest degree monomial is 4. So the degree of this polynomial is 4. Some notes about polynomials. This might make your life a little bit easier. Um, written in standard form, polynomials have the highest degree monomial written first. So in most cases, you won't actually need to go and find the degree for every single term inside of a polynomial. Some teachers, if you're being tested on this, they might move them around for a test question. So be aware of that. But in most cases, the highest degree in standard form, the highest degree monomial will be at the beginning. It'll be the first monomial listed. So let's go ahead and look at some polynomials and determine their degree. 13,000, what's the degree of that polynomial? Zero. I like to throw one of these in for each of our tables just so that we remember a number by itself has a degree of zero. How about this one, 4a plus 9. 4a plus 9 has a degree of 1. The term that has the highest degree is 4a. 4a has a degree of 1, 9 has a degree of 0, so the highest degree is the first term. Negative 29xy plus x. 
Again, we have two terms here, negative 29xy that has a degree of 2, and our second term, x, that has a degree of 1. So this one would have the largest degree is 2. Have you noticed a pattern yet? Let's take a look at this one. Negative x to the power of 3 plus 2x squared plus xy minus 1. In this one here, the first term, negative x to the power of 3, has the highest degree. It has a degree of 3. So our overall polynomial degree is 3. And in our final polynomial, negative x squared y squared plus 3xy minus 2. The highest degree term is negative x squared y squared, and when we add the exponents, 2 plus 2, we get a degree of 4. This is a quick way to practice um, and see some examples of different polynomials and how they have different degrees. Now it's time for you to solve this question. I know in the um, in the curious um, format it's difficult to write exponents so I've written down the question on the slide but what you're going to get when you go to the actual activity is this same exact question only written um, as creatively as I can um, with those exponents. So take a look at this slide, pause the recording, try and solve the question and then select your answer based on that question in the next slide. All right, hopefully you were able to find the degree 3 polynomial by looking at this list. The first polynomial is a degree 4 polynomial. m squared n squared has a degree of 2 plus 2, which is 4. Our second polynomial, 3x squared is our first term. It's the term with the highest degree, and it has a degree of 2. Option C, although the first term has 3x to the power of 3, this one is not a polynomial. If you have a negative exponent, it is not a polynomial. So keep that in mind. Remember that negative exponents are not part of polynomials. So our final term or our final polynomial, 5abc plus 2ab is our three degree polynomial. abc is 1 plus 1 plus 1, which gives us our three degrees. Quick recap on what we talked about today. The degree of a monomial is the sum of the exponents. The degree of the polynomial is the highest degree monomial. And the degree to which you understand and remember all of this has an awful lot to do with how much you study and practice. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.